Hello guys, this is Ray Chen from Real Estate Fast Lane. Today we're going to talk about the eight ways that you can buy a home with little or no money. Uh, the first way is uh, you can buy a home with cash out refi. Uh, so most people, we own a residence and uh, a lot of times we have a lot of money in there, sitting there doing nothing, right? So instead of have the money sitting in there doing nothing, you can buy it and you know, you can uh, finance, take the money out, uh, do equity finance, to take the money out and use that money. Let's say if you have a home, you bought it for 500,000, now it's worth a million dollars. So you can take out $500,000 and you invest in another property. You can buy a million dollar property or $500,000 property. Uh, so if you, let's say if you buy another $500,000 property, and a couple after a couple years, it's worth a million dollar again. Then you can take more, take that money out and go invest in something else. So uh, this is a very um, efficient way to invest in invest in real estate. Okay, the second way to invest in real estate with no money, it's a uh, uh, is you can uh, get a seller financing. So let's say uh, you know there's many folks, older folks, especially. Uh, let's say if you buy a home, buy a property that's a million dollars. If you buy from older folks and uh, if you get a loan from a bank and if you pay them a million dollars, they're gonna have to pay a lot of taxes, right? Uh, capital gain taxes. Let's say if instead of you getting a loan from the bank, you can get a loan from the seller. The homeowner, so let's say if you give them $100,000 as a down payment and they carry a, a loan for you for $900,000, uh, in that case, uh, they will save a lot of money uh, in taxes uh, because they didn't get all the money from the beginning uh, because they're financing you the, the rest of $900,000, okay? And another way to uh, to purchase home uh, without money down or little money down is lease lease option, lease to own, right? So you can buy a property from a homeowner, and every month you pay the rent, uh, but uh, the rent is also you know going toward as your uh, payment for the purchase of the home. So another option to buy a, a home with little or no money down is self-directed IRA. So basically, you can invest in real estate from your retirement account. So most of us we have a lot of money sitting in a retirement account, but it's not doing anything, right? So uh, you're probably getting very low return after paying all the fees. Uh, maybe you're only getting 2% return. Uh, so instead, you can take that money now and you can open, open this solo 401k. It's a self-directed over uh, 401k. And you can re invest in real estate from the, your solo 401k account. Uh, that way, you, know, you can also enjoy the retirement benefits. So the money you make from that account, um, it, it's also you know, uh, tax deferred. So another way to buy a real estate is with harmony loan. But obviously, if you're buying a home uh, or real estate investment property uh, for the long term to buy and hold, uh, you can use harmony loan as a bridge loan. Obviously, you don't you don't want to keep this loan for a long time because the cost is very expensive, right? Uh, so what you do is if you you get the harmony loan uh, because it's hard for you to get the conventional loan. So you get the harmony loan and you buy the property. Uh, maybe you're paying, let's say, two percent, three percent point. Let's say five, five, six, or seven, eight percent interest. So you buy the property. And then once the income increase, then you get a conventional loan from a regular bank and then you pay off the hard money loan. So another way you can buy a property is with private loan. So the private money is a little bit similar to hard money loan. So hard money loan is basically a company that get investors money, they pull it together and then they, they finance you and they, they charge the, you know, the, the difference. Uh, so what, uh, with the private money, so you probably have relatives, you know, friends, uh, co-workers, or classmates. You know they have money that's sitting in a bank. You know collecting one per, uh, less than one percent return. So if they lend the money to you, you know you, they're making much better return than putting the money in the bank. So another way to buy a, a home with a little no money down is FHA loan. So it's from the Federal Housing Administration. So with this loan, you only need three point five percent down payment. So you can buy real estate, right? Uh, so that's you know let's say if you have a hundred thousand dollars that means you might be able to you know buy two or three properties depending on the you know the price of the home so another way to buy uh, real estate it's uh, you can buy real estate uh, you can invest in real estate syndications so with a real estate syndication so there is a uh, there is a, a limited partner and then there is a, a general partner so basically the general partner they they find the deal they get the mortgage and they manage the property. So you as a limited partner, you need you only need to put in the money and you don't need to worry about management. You don't you don't need to worry about, you know, um, um, how to how to how to manage the property. So and also all the numbers are transparent, you know, you and uh, you know, depending on the, the deal, maybe monthly or quarterly you get a uh, you get a check and also at the end you also be able to, you know, um, get the returns. So usually the split for a uh, between the L a general partner and limited partner. It's usually the limited partner come up with the money, the general partner come up with the deal, the experience and the mortgage, and the, as a KP person. 
So the general partner usually get you know anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, percent for for the work they are doing, and the limited partner usually get you know uh, 70 to 80 percent uh, of the uh, of the of the equity. So let's say um, once the, once you buy the deal and the, uh, quarterly you get the, you get the you get the, uh, the money, and also let's say after five or six years, uh, let's say if the property is sold, then you'll make you know um, so so the return for this kind of investment is usually at least between you know total return between twelve to fifteen percent. So you actually make a really good return, a much better return than versus if you're investing on your own. Let's say if you have fifty thousand dollars, what can you buy? There's not much you can buy with fifty thousand dollars, right? Let's say if there is a, a hundred limited partner, they each invested fifty thousand dollars. That's five million dollars. So that with that money, you know you can go out there to buy one million, ten million, twenty million, thirty million dollar property. So the because you have this uh, you know uh, this this uh, this uh, size. Uh, you have a much bigger size, you're investing in much bigger property, so you, you get this network effect, so you can get a much higher return. Okay, thank you guys for you know listening to my, uh, watching my video. Uh, this is Ray Chen from Real Estate Fastlane, and uh, please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and uh, until next time, okay?